Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution, where finally, after many struggles and triumphs and a lot of money, we have made it to the fourth island here in Jurassic World Evolution, where hopefully we will begin unlocking a whole bunch of new secrets, especially a whole bunch of the new fossil dig sites and a bunch more DNA so we can discover some new dinosaurs and bring them back to life and then immediately start making tons of money off them because that is what this is all about in the end. Ah, so the third or the fourth island, excuse me, and it actually has quite a bit of money. I'm not sure what they were up to on this island, but it certainly doesn't scream tourist attraction to me. You're going to have your work cut out for you here. It looks very small, look at this. Restricted building space and high power upkeep will see to that. I'd recommend investing in some big ticket dinosaurs, but they don't come without complications of their own. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is like some really hardcore fencing. You can't confine nature that way, because nature adapts, it searches for weaknesses, it finds them and exploits them, not sometimes. Well, you know, we are trying to make some money here. There's its own natural ebb and flow to the economy of taking care of these islands, apparently. It looks like we have a fossil dig site, we have an expedition center, that's fantastic. Um, and this is a really small island, but I think we'll be able to build okay on it, because we do have some big hitter dinosaurs that I'm mm, pretty happy about having snagged. I wonder if there's a way where you could sort by, let's see, sort alphabetically. What I really want to see is if we could somehow sort by how popular a dinosaur is. So I could kind of move around, rating 183 on our T-Rex. And then, is that the highest that we've currently got? 131 on our Brachiosaurus, which I am always all about. The Diplodocus, 138. So it looks like I would probably say 138. Yeah, it looks like the first thing I want to put down is going to be a T-Rex for sure. So let's go ahead and just immediately start incubating one. Hopefully it'll work. And I need to check and see, do I happen to have an ACU center here? What do we have? We have a small power station. We have the expedition and fossil centers. We've got the creation lab, so we don't have an ACU center. So that's definitely something that we need to throw down if we're going to be playing with a T-Rex. So let's get that in here. And hopefully having a T-Rex is just like the right idea for the very first types of dinos we'll have. All right, let's wiggle over here. That looks much nicer. I'm starting to figure out how to make swirly pretty paths, don't mind me. And then I also am going to need a ranger station. That's a huge thing that we're going to need to plunk down too. Is there room for it in here? Not quite. What about over here? Nope. Oh, look at those cliffs. This is definitely going to be a tight one. Okay, so... Realistically, I'm probably going to want to have... No, the ranger station is really going to need to be at sort of a central location that could tend to my dinosaurs pretty quickly. Like here would be fantastic, but it looks like it's gonna make me really beg to be able to go down at all. So let's tuck it over here. There we go. Which means I'm gonna need to add in a power substation, connect it to the grid, connect it to, let's see. Yeah, connect it overall. I thought I heard an alarm going off and I like just about had a heart attack. I was like, we don't even have a dinosaur yet. Are there rogue dinos living inside of the jungle? What is happening here? Uh, the guests are gonna need a whole bunch of things once they do get here. Let's start, was that a gift shop? Let's start with a restaurant compared to the fast food. Wow, the fast food is actually cheaper. That's interesting. Then the restaurant, but let's actually put down drink, fun. The restaurant adds a little bit of fun, but let's, or like the um, fast food place does. Let's go ahead, we're gonna sneak a restaurant in, like right over here. And it'll be a place where people can come for fine dining. Let's put it like closer to the T-Rex. It'll be a place where people can come for fine dining so they can say that they saw a T-Rex uh, from the viewing platform while they were busy eating their, their whatever, their delicious noms. So we'll put them there. 
Fingers still crossed on success with the T-Rex. In fact, if I hurry, we want success rate up. I'm gonna install success rate on all of those. There we go. Because I really want the success rate up. No, 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 no. All right, more power immediately, please. Because I cannot lose, there we go. Oh, and we can do reduced upkeep too. Huh. Hmm. Well, I have enough power right now, so maybe I should do reduced upkeep because apparently the power is very expensive. Running cost is, but the running cost is only 30,000. I don't know about that. I'm gonna do improved power output so we can on we only need one small power station for now. All right, looks like we're good over there. I feel pretty well prepared and set up for things so far. Yeah, we've got the ranger station in. Hopefully we're 50% there. Still have my fingers crossed on that T-Rex. And then I think I wanna just put in like some Diplodocus <laughs> down here. They'd be a little bit much to move, but I think that would actually work out okay. Because they're very, very, very popular dinosaurs. So people could come this way and look over a huge field where the Diplodocus could share a fence with the T-Rex. And, ooh, it, does it go further back? Ooh, we may want to rethink about how we've lined some of this up, but, and we might want to put like another little restaurant or something over here. All right, and then let's come up this way. I can always have the path swing around down in here. And we're gonna wanna utilize all of the space we can. I might have to delete a lot of things once we get more people in here. All right, this is a huge section that should be good for our Diplodocus. And then, whoops, I need a gate. So let me go ahead and just slide the gate right in there. And then we're actually gonna come up here and we're gonna put a fence down that's gonna be a little awkward because I need the creation center to give me <laughs> to give me access to my Diplodocus without it getting eaten by a T-Rex. So we're gonna have to do this and then I'm gonna have to put in a gate right here. And we're gonna open this gate and just keep it open to convince the T-Rex to come over this way. And then eventually I'll have enough money that I can maybe get another creation lab and even flip it. But for now, I want my T-Rex to be released in here. So, I mean, the best thing that we can do is just try, try, try. And if we still clearly need to change things, because people won't really be able to see over there, unfortunately. But when we're not creating new things that I want to move to different zones, we can go ahead and leave the T-Rex where he was. So, all right, let's come back to enclosures. I'm gonna want a couple of these things, and then I'm probably gonna want, I probably didn't need to, but two is probably a good idea, and we're gonna to wanna to wait for just a minute. But here is the fun thing. Here is the bit and piece that I was really, really hoping and waiting for. Oh, uh, do we have new fossil dig sites? That's what I really, really, really wanna see. Um, Let's pop over. Yes! All right, we have some new dig sites. Look at this. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I had all of those guys. But, okay, finally, there is a new dig site up there. I want to, oh, look at this. So many new dig sites. So many new dinosaurs. New dinosaur digs. Look at all of that. Oh, this is fantastic. Some of them we already have. Some of them we don't. Uh, I'm really curious, though, because I feel like there's so many dinos. We're not even halfway there. So then why have I not found more of their their dig sites? They're really kind of going to make me wait until we make it to the next island, aren't they? The ultimate challenge for your operations in the five deaths. This was once a vast engine facility, but it's now abandoned. Refashion the wild landscape and ruined infrastructure into the greatest facility yet. So we just have to get three stars on this one. I think that would be good. I think we're just gonna kind of barrel forward to three stars. And as soon as we manage to get there, we'll go ahead and we will pop to the next island and then we'll start jumping between them so we can unlock everything. So, all right, now the time. Oh, interesting. Now the time is to release our newest T-Rex here in what apparently is a permanently darkened island. Look at that with the moon above it. That is so cool. 
And I would actually like to introduce all of you. Are you guys ready for this? To Autumn. Autumn the T-Rex, named after a fierce cat who is actually the cat that belongs to Sneasel Scratch, one of our community members. So you now have your cat Autumn here as a T-Rex inside of our beautiful park. Hopefully she will be a well-behaved T-Rex. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these trees because Autumn really prefers... Yes, good, good, good. Happy dinosaur. Close this gate. There we go. And we're immediately at one and a half stars. <laughs> all hail the T-Rex. That was all it took. Okay. Do we have some people coming in? We'll have to see. Let's see if we can pull in some contracts to make sure we can pull in a little bit of money. Oh, and actually, what can I get from the reputations on this island? I didn't even stop to check. So we have improved output three. The bar. What? Wetlands? I want to get the wetlands. Oh, that'd be so cool. We have two new dinosaurs, electrified concrete, large power station, field testing, needs management. Um, let's try to go for the bar first, I think, just to make people happy. Uh, we serve, uh, I guess, non-alcoholic juices, cough, cough, the stuff from The Sims. Uh, oh, and I don't have my research facility built yet, but I do need to get that because that's going to be pretty important. Uh, so, all right, come here, come here, come here. New contract, please. Entertainment contract. No guest deaths by a carnivore for five minutes. Autumn, did you hear that? <laughs> no, de no guest deaths, okay? Perform two successful. Uh, oh, cool. And George actually wants in on things. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Autumn's not happy. Autumn's not happy. Oh, Autumn wants more area. Okay, if I open this, does that actually expand Autumn's- Oh, look at how much it expanded Autumn's space. So she just gets really upset. And listen to Owen talking about, like, don't domesticate dinosaurs. I, for some reason, I think that's hilarious when we have a dinosaur named after a cat. That's really cute. Oh, Sneasel, you'll have to tell us more about your cat Autumn, and we'll have to give Autumn the T-Rex that personality. But this would be too small of an enclosure on its own. So now we know that. Look, people are starting to wiggle over here. Oh, and I need... Okay, so this is going to be like Autumn's Falls. We're going to pretend there's a little waterfall. I guess we could call it like Autumn's... Autumn's Cliff. So, or Autumn's Cliffside. There we go. So that's this restaurant. We are not having Snackosaurus. We're having gigantic dino... Dino steak, Okay. And I, I can't charge a lot for it right now because we're not very popular. <laughs> $29 discount dino steak. Don't mind me. Uh, looks like Autumn's doing okay. Where'd she go? How do I keep losing? There she is. How do I keep losing my T-Rexes? I swear, it makes my heart just like start pounding nonstop when that happens. But let us see. Did I send out the dig teams yet? I did not. These guys kind of look new. Hmm, some of those guys I have. Some of these guys I have. Uh, I do love myself a good Diplodocus. So let's go ahead and go over to the Dinosaur National Monument. And let's go over to the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry and see what we can dig up. That will complete two expeditions, which will make the security team happy. And in three more minutes, if no one dies, that will make my uh, entertainment people very happy. Which, to be fair, to be fair, I think that's um, that sounds like a good idea to me. All right, but we could fill this area up with a few more. I need a little bit of water, actually. I wonder if we should put down some roosters, maybe? We'll probably have to add in more trees. It might not be big enough now that I'm looking at it again, to make my herbivores happy. So I might want to kind of push it down into the edges. Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. We're just going to shove it down so that they can wander all the way over here if they want. Because I think it's important to give them a ton of space. There. And let's remove these pieces. So there, now we've got a lot of room for them to roam, but they should stay up by where the food is located. So they shouldn't wander too far back there. All right, and that's the creation center. Thankfully, the viewing gallery isn't too terribly expensive and it looks over exactly the spot I was hoping it would. We'll put that down. 
And then in the future, I really can't wait to add in some of the uh, the really cool paths. Uh, or not the paths, excuse me. I was putting a path down. I was a little distracted. But I really can't wait to add in the gyro spears. We, I want to go back to the first island once we unlock the fifth island and get the gyro spears because that would be really fun. So there, all right. We're sort of all set up. And now we just need a little bit of funding money so that I can come in and make ourselves a couple diplodocus. And can I give them the new pattern we have unlocked? No, unfortunately I can't. Okay, let's pop over here. I can sell that. Whoa, look at that, we have gold. I've not seen that one either, that's pretty cool. So got a couple of those. That was two successful, yes, two successful fossil finding expeditions. So we got a little bit of money there, wonderful. And let's go ahead and incubate ourselves a Diplodocus. Thank you very much. Very expensive. Very expensive. And we'll have to temporarily keep Autumn over in this area and hope she doesn't rampage. It almost looks like a Colosseum that we're keeping our T-Rex inside. Oh, all right. So guests are not very happy with me whatsoever. They're going to have to be patient. Oh, what is the... Wait, what, what woodland? Come back. No, not you. What do they mean, Woodland? So, guest. Uh, rating? Woodland? Wait a second. <gasps> Wait a second! So this is, when I get to five stars, I unlock Woodland type for my dinosaurs? That would be so cool! Okay, I'm gonna have to work on that too. <laughs> There's so much to do, so much to do. Um, and I have a lot of good fossils that I don't really want to sell because they're a little hard to get my hands on, but I'll sell the low quality ones at least just to give me a little boost because I do need to get a research center built. So how much would that be? Operations, expedition, science. Yes, contract is complete. Oh, and I do have enough for a research center. Wonderful. And I can probably pick up another contract in just a second. So let's come to research center. And, well, I guess I, I should wait on the research center and invest in another dinosaur, to be honest. Especially if this one doesn't come out. Oh, geez, Diplodocus take a while to incubate. It makes sense because they're huge, but still. But all right, let's pick another. Let's go ahead and pick another contract. I'm going to go with entertainment again. Acquire at least 60% of the Camosaurus genome. Variety is what our audience demands. A Camosaurus genome can get us there. Check out this contract. I say we go for it, but ultimately it's your decision. All right, well, let's try that. So 60% of that genome. I think that's gonna mean some new expeditions. Where were you, my friend? My little Cama, where are you? Right over here. And right over here. All right. And we need 60%. What did it? Wait a second. 60%'s a lot. Oh, wait. Look. <gasps> You're a sauropod? Yes. Are you kidding me? Extract that DNA. Extract it. Extract it. Extract it. I already had a ton of it. That makes me so happy. I wasn't even paying attention and didn't even notice that it's actually like a sauropod. And now we're going to have to wait for Autumn to get over to the feeder. She's having a good time showing off for all the people. Can you imagine? That guy's probably like, look, he's taking a selfie. He's literally taking a selfie. I was coming down here to joke and be like, haha, they're probably taking selfies. Yeah, they are. What kind of, <clears throat> why is there not like a window barricade between us and the dinosaur? I love how everyone's pointing. She's taking a selfie too. These people, these people. That's really hilarious at the same time though. Um, just, I can't believe, he's doing another one. Oh my gosh, when she moves, the whole ground shakes. I don't know why she does that, but then when like our Diplodocus does that, it doesn't happen. What weighs more, the Diplodocus or Autumn? Autumn, how much do you weigh? Uh-oh, she needs more grassland. Okay, let's cut down some trees. I'm not letting this, this one get a little upset. Do you need more grassland? A little more. So let's cut down a little more tree. Is that good? Did that make it better? Ah, now I need a tree. Just like literally one tree. We're back to this game again. Okay, there's like three trees. That was three, that was two trees too many. <gasps> uh. Okay, there, what about that? Oh my gosh, that's exactly the right number of trees. 
<laughs> Any more trees, one direction or the other, and she would be a very irate dinosaur. Ah, but all right, we are working on analyzing those pieces. Let's check out what kind of fossils come back to us. Autumn is heading over to the other side. My Diplodocus is still being processed, but I think this is a fairly fantastic start to the fourth of the five islands. And hopefully we'll be able to churn through this really quickly. We're already at uh, over a star with just one dinosaur. So let's break out our most popular ones and uh, see what we can make of this. And also what the new dinosaurs are gonna look like. I am so excited and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.